So, hey, let's uh, check this out. Um, here we have sodium cubes. Uh, uh, the first thing I wanted to say is uh, probably the vast majority of people who are stumbling across this video are like, what's a sodium cube and why do I care? Uh, to be honest, uh, you probably don't if you stumbled on this and you're wasting a couple of minutes of your lifetime looking at this. Uh, this is for those few of us who really like uh, cubes of the elements that are cut to perfection and are technically speaking density cubes, you know, so that it, it gives you the volume uh, of uh, an element and given its weight, you can tell uh, what the element is, you know, against a reference. So uh, in most cases, you know, you would think that makes it a scientific instrument. Eh, not really because uh, what people use it for is just to have as a show and tell. And as a show and tell, uh, boy, it d does it stand out. Sodium, for those who don't know, is a metal that is incredibly difficult to uh, keep uh, without any trace of uh, oxidation. And how it's done in this case is by keeping it in this dome this glass dome that's flooded with argon gas. Um, a second major challenge, and it took us eight years to get to this point, was to find a way to get this metal to have this shape. As it turns out, it is extremely difficult because it is so soft that you could squish it between your fingers. So. Uh, imagine the challenge of, of trying to have the, the geometry be cubic um, while holding it to cut it and, you know, avoiding messing up the other dimensions. So uh, that is a double challenge and that makes it doubly cool. Uh, and finally, just look at the surface. You can see like the, the crystalline uh, the crystal facets that, ha that are showing up, and uh, that's something that would happen with, when a metal is very pure and allowed to cool down, and uh, then you, you can etch it chemically uh, to reveal you know, th these different crystals as they formed. Uh, it is also pretty cool that uh, the lab was able to uh, emboss it so that you can read what it is, just like the other cubes in our lineup. Uh, it's just a really special item uh, for, for the nerds who are into this kind of stuff. So uh, we now have something like 70 uh, plus cubes of different elements that are pure and are able to hold this shape, whether it's as a standalone metal that can uh, be uh, you know, remain in its metallic form in air or it has to be shielded in some way because of the effects of uh, atmospheric oxygen. Uh, so sodium was our, our last uh, one that we were able to do this way. Uh, I had nothing to do with it personally other than, you know, begging for it for many years and um, so I'm not taking any credit here. Uh, lithium is another, and we suspect we'll have uh, even potassium. Again, the same challenges, very, very uh, difficult to work with, very difficult to make into this perfect shape uh, and to be able to hold it. It's extremely light. Sodium is practically the, the same uh, weight as water, uh, just slightly uh, more and uh, that that will uh, add to the appeal of being able to hold this. Uh, you'll probably feel like it's hollow or something, but it's not. It's just a very, very light metal. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or reach us through the website, and I'd be happy to uh, field any questions. And when I don't know the answers, I'll, I'll ask the lab. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching, and I hope I didn't bore you to death. Thank you so much. Uh, this is Rasiel for Lusiteria.